how to solder the correct way. This is a soldering iron and the tips get very hot. And so it's really important that you never touch any of the metal. Always hold the soldering iron like you hold a pen because it gives you a good bit of control. And soldering iron when not in use should always be in its holder. Keep in mind that don't let the cord fall over the iron or entangle with the iron holder. This will melt the cord and will expose the wire inside. Always keep the cord clear from the holder. This is solder and it is a lead free. It is the metal alloy made of tin which you melt to stick the joint together or construct circuit boards. This is flux. Flux is the stuff that makes the solder stick to the metal or to clean the solder tip. Avoid using the product with lead in it. Don't use sandpaper or file to clean the tip. Use solder bit cleaning sponge instead. Add little water to the sponge. And now rub the solder tip on it and remove the oxides that develop. It is now clean and ready to solder. Switch on the soldering iron and it takes about 1 minute to heat. To solder a wire, strip one end about 10 mm using stripper and twist it tight and nice. Secure the wire with masking tape to avoid any movement while soldering. Always thin your wire before soldering into the connector. This is to provide a better connection with the other component. To connect wire to a switch pin, insert wire through the hole, bend, and twist it tight. Paste masking tape and start soldering. Concentrate on what you are working on and always be careful. Thin a coat to the soldering tip before solder. Apply small amount of solder to the joint. For joining of the two wires, I separate the wire strands because this is one of the better methods. Mesh them together. I found this to be the most reliable method, even joining wires with the different diameters. Once the wires mesh together, use one hand to pinch one side of the wire together and use the other strands together on the opposite side. And repeat the process that you initially twist. And now you are ready to solder. Once you begin this process, it happens in seconds. Begin by touching the solder to the initial point of contact and let the wire absorb the molten solder. Keep your soldering iron stationary and move the solder up and down the wire until your connection is completely covered. Another method is the X pattern and just twist the two wires together. Solder the wire with constant movement that way you will have a pretty nice and clean joint. And 
now I have come to an end of my demonstration.